Hi guys, James here. Welcome back to my channel. So today in this video, I just want to play with one of my newer palettes. I've never played with this palette on camera before. And this is my first ever palette from Too Faced. This is the Born This Way Natural Nudes and it's a beautiful, beautiful palette. I have played with it once off camera before, um, but this is my first makeup tutorial using it. And I really just wanted to create a nude look using this palette because I think it's visually, it's a beautiful, beautiful palette, but I haven't really played too much with this palette. I've done a very quick look, but yeah, I just want to go in depth with this palette and talk about how I feel about it, tell you my opinions on it, and see how everything works with it. So guys, if you wanna know how I created this look, and also my thoughts on this palette, just keep watching, guys. Hi guys, so I'm so excited about this video. I've just primed my face, I've done foundation, concealer, and everything like that. So I'll let you know what I've used before I start this video. Now for primer, I've used this Disney Milan Face Milk um, from 4th Ray Beauty, which is the sister brand from ColourPop. And I got this in my Milan, PR box that I bought a couple months ago. And yeah, I love this so much. I've been using it every day. And I've found lately that it's really, really laying down my foundation a lot better than a lot of my primers. Um, so I'm using a lot more moisturizers for my primers lately. So yeah, I just want to quickly mention that. Now for foundation, I use this ColourPop foundation. Now this is the darker shade. Um, I know it's not my shade, but I still love it and I'm just gonna use it anyway. Um, so this is in the shade medium 20A5, or medium 90 20A5. I don't really get those codes, but that's that one. And then guys, for concealer, I've used this Tarte Shape Concealer. I love this one. This is in the shade 12N Fair Neutral, and I will be using this later on in this video to cut the crease, and I'll do that on camera because I have been doing it off camera lately, and I've had a few people ask me if I can do it on camera and show them how to do it. So I will do that on camera as well. And then guys, for setting powder, I've used this Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. This is the travel size, so it's quite small, but I love this so much. Um, yeah, love this one. As I've also primed my eyes with the MAC Painterly Pot just to save some time. And then guys, lastly, I've used this for my brows. This is the MC Co Beauty little eyebrow pencil. You can see the little prongs. I love this so much. And this is in the medium dark. And guys, I've also done a bit of contour and bronzer. So for the contour around the chin, I use this Morphe palette. Now I've had this for a couple of weeks now and I've used it a couple of times. This is the highlighter and contour palette. This is in the low five, L-O slash F-I, low fi, um, eight L. So they come in different shades and I think that's what the palette is called. But yeah, I've used these two. I've mixed these two just around the jawline. And lastly, guys, for the temples and the cheeks, I've used this bronzer out of this Benefit Face Palette. I love this bronzer so much. And that's in the shade Hula. And then I'll use the Sugar Bomb Blush later on on my cheeks. For highlighter, I'll use something different. But yeah, I just wanted to quickly mention I've used this as well. So now that you've been caught up with everything, let's get straight into the makeup tutorial. I'm so excited to play with this. I've played with it once, but I haven't actually filmed with it. So I'm really excited. Yes, I will be doing cut creases. I think my last three or four looks I've been doing cut creases. And I just really like doing it and it's just good practice for me. So that's why I'm doing it. Um, yeah, but I'm really excited to try it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very light um, inner corner. So I'm going to be using these two shades, this one here and that shimmer one. So they're kind of white, creamy. And then I'm going to do a darker outer corner of the eye. So it'll be light to dark on my eye and I'll do a cut crease as well. So yeah, I'm excited about this. All right guys, so I'm gonna go in with this brush here. This is the fluffy brush from the Morphe X Sweetie Collection. It doesn't have a code. I love this one so much. It's great to blend out. So I'm going to go in with this shade Coca, which is this one here. Now guys, on camera, this shade looks a lot pinker than in person. In person, it's more of a light brown shade. So I'm just gonna go straight in to the outer corner and blend it out a little bit. And I'm just gonna blend it into the middle of the eyelid. And then I'm going to transition into a lighter shade. Cause like I said, I want it to be a bit darker on the outer corner of the eye and then go into a lighter shade. Also guys, I'm gonna try and keep it in the immediate eye area. I don't wanna do a winged out look. But yeah, so far this is blending out so nicely. So, so pretty. As you can see, it's very pigmented. And guys, I'm just slowly bringing it into the middle of the eyelid. But so pretty, so, so pretty. 
And I love this palette because the last time I played with it, there was no fallout. So that's why I haven't done any baking under the eye. I haven't done any of that type of stuff because I feel like I don't have to worry about it. But I'm also dipping into the pan very, very lightly, picking up a little bit of product each time and tapping off any excess. That just helps with any fallout because you don't want to do your full face and then have staining on the cheeks and having to redo your full face. So guys, now I'm just gonna blend it a little bit so there's no harsh lines on the middle of my eyelid and then I go into a lighter shade. But I'm really happy with the way that blended out and yeah, just really, really, really happy about that. All right guys, so I'm back. I just finished both those eyes off camera. I'm really happy with the way that looks. I love that shade. Cocal, Cocal, C-O-C-O-A, Cocal. So Coco, no, Coco is C-O-C-O, -C -O. Coco. I'll go with Coco. Anyway, so that's that shade there. Like I said, it looks more pinky than what it does in person. To me, it's just kind of a ashy dark brown. So it's not a true dark brown. This is a true dark brown. So now I'm gonna go in with this shade petal, which is this one here. Oh, now that is actually a very light pink. But again, on this camera, it just picks it up as a cream. So I'm gonna go in with that. I'm just gonna put that in the inner corner of the eye. See, on camera, that's light pink, but in the pan, it's white. So I'm just gonna put that on the inner corner of my eye and just blend those two shades together. And then I'll go in with that white cream shade. But, oh, so pretty. I see a lot of people do a lot of beautiful neutral tone looks with a smoky outer corner of the eye, and I just, Love that look. So this is what this makeup tutorial will hopefully end up like. We'll see. But that's what I'm hoping. Hmm. Okay. It's a beautiful shade. It does have a lot of fallout. Then say the shade Cocal. Um, but I'm not bad about it. It's really, really pretty. Blended out really nicely. So now I'm just going to do the same on the other eye. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back and I've just finished with that shade petal and I love the way that looks. So now I'm just gonna leave that eyeshadow to the side and I'm going to go in and I'm going to do a cut crease. So I've got my concealer here and the way I do it is I get quite a lot of product on the back of my hand, so that's it there. Um, and I do quite a lot because I will be using quite a lot on my eye. All right, guys, so the way I do a cut crease is I use one of these little brushes. This is actually the same brush I used for the MAC Paintly pot to prime my eyes with. So I just put a little bit there. And guys, the way I do it is I just run it along the lash line and I always get it on my eyelashes, but that's not a big deal because I'm gonna do some false eyelashes. All right, guys, so the way I do my cut crease is I put the concealer on the actual lash line and then I relax my eye and when I open it you'll see where the cut crease has to be so you can see that line and then I just fill it in and that's just a really quick easy way of doing a cut crease so you can see exactly where the concealer has to go with that little trick so like I said I'll relax my eye and then I open it and you can yeah that's exactly where that line is going to be and that's how I do my cut crease and I usually swap to a smaller brush, which is this one here, to do the inner corner of my eye, just because I don't want to get it all over the bottom lash line. But that's how I do a cut crease, guys. Very, very easy, very quick. I actually learned that trick from Manny MUA, watching one of his makeup tutorials, and I love the way he does it. And I just love that trick, guys. Hmm, see, that's so easy. All right, guys, so now that I've done that, I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back and I just finished cutting both eyes off camera. So I'm really happy with the way that looks. Now, a little quick trick is to set them. I always set with a little bit of translucent powder, like a little bit, That that's a lot, a little bit. I always tap it off, even a bit more, just like that. And I just quickly run it over the um, cut crease area because I don't want it to be very tacky, especially when I'm putting on a bit of a matte eyeshadow over it. Um, especially if some areas are still wetter than others, the eyeshadow will mix with the concealer and it won't look even um, with everything else. So that's why I always set my eye a little bit with the translucent setting powder. Not much, that's all you need. Um, it just helps with the eyeshadow and the concealer not mixing together. 
So back to the eyeshadow palette. I'm going to go in with that dark shade Cocal, whatever it's called. And I just want to very lightly stamp on that outer edge of where that cut crease is just to kind of blend it a little bit. See how it's blended out very, very, very subtly because I will be doing shimmer in that area as well, but I do still want it to be blended out a little bit. So now I'll just do the other eye. And like I said, I'm just tapping it into the product and then I'll blend out a very, very slightly. So it's just not as harsh. See how easy that blended out? I love this eyeshadow palette so much. All right, so I'm happy with that. Now comes the fun part. I've got this little eyeliner brush. It's clean and I do have my setting spray in case I need it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into this shade Glistening Snow and I'm going to start with the lighter shade and I'm just going to put that in the inner corner of the eye and I'm just stamping it on. And guys, I might need to set my brush with a setting spray. I just want to try it. So guys, I'm not really happy with the way that looks. I'm just going to use my setting spray and just set my brush a little bit. Whoa, whoa, that brush, is, why is that pink? That was a clean eyeshadow brush. Okay, I'm going to use a different brush because that has a lot of pigment on it. This one's got blue, okay. Okay, what do I do? All right, guys, I'm back. I just had to get a new brush. Um, that brush before was dirty. So hopefully these are clean. I'm going to set it again with the setting spray. I always think I'm gonna get that in my eye. All right, so let's go straight back into that shade Glistening Snow and see if that does anything different. Hmm. Don't know. Um. Okay, there's something. There's a little bit of pigment. Not as pigmented as what I would like, but it's there. Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'll just go into the shade Shimmering Pearl. Let's see if that works. Oh, don't really like that. Hmm. All right, guys, I don't really know if I like those two shades. Um, I'm just going to make it work and hope for the best. Maybe, maybe I need a better brush. Let's try this one. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not really loving that shade. Hmm. What do I do? What do I do? Guys, I don't really know if I like this shade at all because it's a very, very patchy in this area and I don't understand why. I just don't understand why it's like that. Hmm. All right, guys, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to wipe this concealer off. I'm gonna be right back and then I'm going to try different, maybe you have to go to a different palette. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so I'm back and I've just finished reapplying that cut crease after I wiped off that shimmer shade from this Born This Way palette from Too Faced. That glistening snow, even though it's such a beautiful, beautiful, like, cream shimmer, didn't work at all. Neither did the shade Shimmering Pearl. Um, they just didn't work, so I wiped it off, I cut the crease again. Um, I also did the other eye as well, just so they are exactly the same. I don't want a cut crease to be darker than the other because that will affect the finished product. So now that I've done that, let's go on with the shimmer shade and I'm going to use the Going Coconuts palette from ColourPop because that one does not let me down. So I'm gonna go into the shade Palm Reader, which is this beautiful light shimmer shade. Let me just apply it with a dry brush. I'm going to go in with this brush. This is the brush from the Luna Beauty um, Life's a Drag palette that it came with. And I'm just trying to pack it on, but it's not really working. Mm, that's a bit better. 
That's better. Okay, that's what I wanted. So I'm just packing it on with a dry brush. And as you can see, it's pigmented, like mm, very pigmented. There is a bit of fallout with this shimmer because I am packing it on so liberally. So liberally? So liberal. So liberal. Um, and yeah, there is a bit of fallout, but I can sweep that away. Not too bad. Loving the way that looks. And now I'm just going to kind of brush it toward the outer corner of the eye. Um, so it kind of looks like it's been applied that way in camera. Anyway, it looks very so that's that eye done, guys, with that shade, and I'm loving it, that shade. I'm just going to put a little bit more on the outer corner of this eye. There we go. And I am now going to go in with this beautiful shade. This is the Super Shock Eyeshadow. This is part of the Going Coconuts collection as well. And this is in the shade Little Bit Quirky. So I've just packed it on, and I'm going to pack it on the outer eye. Whoa, that's, that's chunky. That is chunky. But I'm just packing it on and I'm going to blend out those two shades together. And it's such a beautiful shade, guys. I love the Super Shock eyeshadows from ColourPop. I think they are one of the best eyeshadows around. The formula is amazing. I've done a lot of looks. It's a lot of my favorite looks using these Super Shock eyeshadows. Look at it, it's blending out seamlessly. Love that. So now I'm just going to kind of try and blend these two together, brush it across. And I'm doing it all with the same brush, guys. Guys, I love this brush. This brush, I'm not a huge fan of the double-ended brushes because you're always standing one up on, on its head. Um, but I really love this one. It's good quality. It's from the Luna Beauty Many MUAs company. It came in the palette Life's a Drag. Um, his other palettes never had a brush in it, but this one did and it's his first palette and I love this brush. As you can see, it's very, very easy to work with. Blends out anything so easily. And this one's more of a blending side. This is more of a packing side. So yeah, I love this brush and I use it quite a lot. So guys, that is that eye done. It looks amazing. I love the way it looks. So now I'm gonna do the other eye off camera and I'll be right back. So guys, I am back and I've just done the other eye off camera. So now let's do the bottom lash line. And the way I'm gonna do this is very, very simple. I'm gonna go into the shade Cocal. Again, I don't know if I'm saying that right. And I'm just going to use this little packing brush. This is the e.l.f. brush and it is the concealer brush, but I'm not using it for a concealer. I'm just pack it on the bottom the lash line, directly on the lash line. And then I'll blend it out and down towards the cheek a little bit. Looking very nice. All right, guys, I've done both eyes in that shade Cocal. Now I'm gonna go in with this light shade She Shell, which is this one here. I'm just gonna run that in the bottom lash line as well. Oh, there's a lot of fallout in that. Can you see that? One dip, there's a lot of powder in that. Oh, that's excessive. That's excessive. Anyway, I'm just gonna run that on the bottom lash line and kind of smoke out that Cocal eyeshadow as well at the same time. So, wow, that's, that's like really powdery. I am so surprised with that powder and how much excess eyeshadow there was when I only dipped it in once. Anyway, you know, some eyeshadows have a lot of fallout, some don't. This one has a lot. But I'm loving that shade. It's just blending out very, very lightly and very, very nicely. There you go. So I'm just going to do that. All right, guys, so I'm back. And that is the finished look for the eyes. I'm really happy with the way that looks. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to pop off camera, put some lashes on. I'm going to do a lip, which will be in a nude. I'll tell you what shade I use. And then I'll come back and we can do blush and highlighter. We can talk about the palette and how I feel about everything. All right, guys, be right back. So I'm back and I've just put on the lips and lashes. So let me tell you what I used. Um, so for lip liner, I used this ColourPop 
lippy pencil and this is in the shade Minuteman and I love this one. It's just a beautiful dark nude tone and I got this for free because they forgot about one of my orders and they put this in with a little note saying sorry about how long it took me so yeah I'm glad that I got that. This is my favourite nude lip liner and I'm going to get another one of these once I run out. My favourite. And then for lipstick I've got this liquid lipstick from Laura Lee Los Angeles in the shade Cabana. I think that's what it is. The writing so small I can barely read it um, but I love this nude lipstick it's a beautiful one and it's my favorite liquid nude lipstick um, love it so much for lip gloss I've got this kimchi chic lip gloss in the shade pink shimmer this is my ride or die lip gloss as you can see how shiny my bottom lip is with this it's got pink little reflex it's my favorite and then for lashes guys I'm wearing the morphe lashes in the style glamorous I love a full dramatic lash. It's just me. I've always loved the dramatic lashes. So now let's get into the blush. I'm going to use this blush palette from Benefit. And I'm going to go into the shade Sugar Bomb with this little brush. Oh. The only thing with this brush is you can't tap off the excess because there's no handle to tap it off. But other than that, I love this blush so much. So I'm just going to apply it very quickly onto the face. It's very pigmented. Love it. I've been wearing this blush for the last month, ever since I got this palette. I love it so much. And it's so easy to apply. Oh, okay, that was a bit excessive on that side. That's right. We'll blend that out and we'll just keep on going. Look how pretty that is, guys. So, so pretty. All right, guys, so let's get into highlighter. And I've got two choices. So I got these palettes from Laura Lee Los Angeles. One is the bronze and one is the glazed. Now the glazed one did come with two broken shades um, and they were very good about it. They actually gave me a refund for this palette. Um, it cost $19 US and yeah, they gave me a full refund, which is great. I actually scraped all the broken parts into little containers. So I do still have those shades and I'm just using them as loose highlighters. But I'm going to not use this one. I just want to show you what it looked like. That's glazed. I haven't actually used the bronzed one. I have swatched it, but I haven't used it. So I'm going to go in with this little Morphe highlighter brush. And I think I'm going to go in to the shade Rose Goals. Because it's such a beautiful shade. Rose Goals. I keep thinking Rose Gold, but it's not. It's Rose Goals. This is the Morphe M510. And yeah, I'm just going to go very lightly. Tap off the excess and then... Just apply it. I just love this sh shade so much. When I swatched it the first time I got this palette, I was like, whoa, look how pretty that is. So, so pretty. And it just blends out really easily. And you know me, I always put on excess because I'm just that person. So pretty. A bit on the nose because, you know, you can never forget about the nose. I do have to say this highlighter is a little powdery. Like, I am having a lot of kickback in this palette. But other than that, you do get a lot of product. Um, for $19 US, the fact that you get four big sized highlighters, like they are big, um, I think it's a great value for money. All right guys, so that is the finished look and I'm really happy with the way it looked. Um, let's talk about this palette. I love this Born This Way palette. It's a beautiful palette. I mean, visually it's beautiful. I love it so much. The mattes blend out so, so nicely. I have used a couple of the shimmers in a previous look and they were okay. Um, and then this time they just didn't work for me at all. This glistening snow and the shimmering pearl, these two here, they just didn't work at all for me. So I had to actually wipe that off um, and start again with a different palette. This going coconuts palette, the shimmers in this, it's so nice. I mean, they do have a bit of fallout. You can't see on camera, but there is quite a bit of fallout in this pan. Uh, maybe you can see it in the mirror now, but other than that, this palette is beautiful. It always works exactly the way I want it to, so I love ColourPop eyeshadow palettes. This palette is my first ever Too Faced eyeshadow palette, so I don't really know how other eyeshadow palettes from Too Faced perform. The mattes performed great, but the shimmers, they're not my favourite. Um, so yeah, I probably use the mattes in this palette a lot more than the shimmers, even though I love shimmers in most eyeshadow palettes. This formula just doesn't do it for me. So guys, I don't know if I'd ever buy this palette again. For the shimmers, no. For the mattes, yes. But would I pay $72 for a palette that only does half of what it's meant to do? Probably not. 
I already have a lot of these mats in a lot of other eyeshadow palettes that I own. I just didn't have the shimmers and that's what I really wanted this palette for. So I'm actually disappointed about how this palette shimmer wise performed. So I probably wouldn't buy it or recommend it to somebody. I mean, if I was given it as a gift, I'd be really happy with it. Like I said, the mattes just blend out really, really nicely. The shimmers are just a little bit of a letdown, but I mean, visually this palette is stunning. I love the mirror. You get a good size mirror. It's got a really good magnet. So, you know, it's not gonna come loose and all the shades are gonna go everywhere. So yeah, I love this aesthetic of this palette. I love the layout of this palette. I love the color story of this palette. I just don't love the shimmers. So yeah, I wouldn't buy this palette again especially for $72, no thank you. And lastly guys, this Super Shock eyeshadow from Colourpop is one of my favorite. It is the shade A Little Quirky. I love this formula so much from Colourpop. Super Shock eyeshadows are my favorite formula from Colourpop. I've used a lot of these in my favorite looks I've ever created. So I would always recommend buying a couple of the Colourpop Super Shock eyeshadows. If you haven't bought them before and you're on the Colourpop website, Go to their sales section because they do have a few of these always on sale. So just add them to your cart because you won't go wrong with them. They're so pigmented, so easy to work with and you get a whole range of colors. So yeah, I would definitely recommend these. I think they normally go for about $6 and they are worth the money, guys. I would recommend them to anybody. I love them so, so much. All right, guys, so that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, guys, give it a thumbs up. That really helps um, the YouTube algorithm apparently um and also it's a little it's a little press of a button like the one with the thumbs up it's white with the black outline just so i'd really appreciate that guys if you did like this video and you're new to the channel subscribe i'd really appreciate that so much and also hit the notification bell so you guys know as soon as i post a video you can watch it straight away because that would really help me out um, as well and also guys check out my Instagram that will be down below as well I post a lot of looks that I do that I don't film on there I also post a lot of giveaways that I do through my Instagram so go check that out and give me a follow on there and guys I'm really thankful for all your support till next time guys all my love bye